I don't. Do you know who Stephen Covey is? You ever heard of him at all? So yeah. Stephen Covey, he was uh, part of uh, Covey Franklin. He passed away, but Stephen Covey wrote a really cool book it's called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And it's actually a field guide for life. And you, if you haven't read it, you should, because number one, it will blow your mind. Number two, the, a lot of the things that he teaches in there are lifelong um, frameworks for not just in business, but for your kids, for you for all of us, right? So he talks about, you know, the different habits, like begin with the end in mind, put first things first. He talks, these are the different habits, think win-win. There's there's a myriad of them, there are seven of them that are there. The reason why I bring up Stephen Covey is because he was this big tall man and he had a bald head, very striking. And um, back when I was an engineering manager, he came when he just had written this book, was starting he was going on a speaking tour he came to our i worked at fluke electronics and he came to um to our executive management week and he talked and it was a great a great speech and um it was that afternoon i was we were at this place called semi up in washington state and he, i saw him sitting out there by himself and you know he was in his suit and everything and he was sitting there with a lemonade so i came up to him i said hey Stephen, i really love to talk and uh do you mind if I sit down with you and just chat? He goes, sure. So I went and got a lemonade, came out. And, uh, you know, all the other people were drinking and partying and stuff. And I thought, well, this is great. I get to talk to this guy. And so I sat there with him. We talked about life. And we talked about, um, you know, all of the commonalities in life and then really the fundamental laws of choice. And what's interesting, he goes, you know, Peter, he said, what's funny, and I think probably at that time, he was probably in his maybe late 40s, early 50s. He's passed away since. But um, he said, you know, he said, what's interesting about choice in life, he goes, I try to keep things simple so I keep it in my head, which I subscribe to too, right? But he said, choice is like a stick. Now, I'm saying this because you and me and everyone else who's, you know, listening to this, we've all had defining moments in our lives. You know, you had a defining moment when you got injured, which pivoted you to where you are now, right? Mm -hmm. So this was a defining moment. And he said, choice is like a stick. When you pick up one end, you pick up the other. And I sat there and I thought about it. He goes, think about it, right? Good choice, good consequence. Bad choice, bad consequence. And really, if you think about that, that is the, he talked about fundamental universal laws. The consequence is built in with the choice. When you pick up one end of the stick, you pick up the other. And you know, we've all made great choices in our life, and we've all made very bad choices in our life that have caused bad things to happen. But it's it's a universal law, right? So but it but it it does teach the sense of you know responsibility uh, in what you're doing. 